It was good. It was good stuff. It was good stuff. Warning. We interrupt this presentation with the following urgent message regarding the stuff. If you see it in stores, call the police. If you have it in your home, don't touch it. Get out. The stuff is a product of nature, a deadly living organism. It is addictive and destructive. It can overcome your mind and take over your body. And nothing can stop it. Are you prepared to say on the air that you've actually seen people devoured by the stuff? Tonight, America is in grave danger. It's gonna kill you! It's gonna kill you all! We're Wages of Sin. I'm Stephen Gillum. I'm Dan Beck. I am Eric Miller. And of course, we got Jeremy Garcia on camera. Little Gil. Little Gil. Little Gil. So, uh, today we are uh, talking about the stuff. the stuff. I've had enough of it. <laughs> enough is never enough. I can never get enough of the stuff. We, uh. Enough is never enough. We enough watched the stuff at. Stuff. <laughs> the Night of Sin. Yes, we did. <clears throat> I have seen this movie. I don't know how many times. You introduced me to this movie. As did you introduce it to I. And it's fantastic. Night of Sin was actually the first time I'd watched it. Yeah. It's amazing. It was a... I expected it to be fun, but I thought it was going to be garbage. And it was actually, it was really good. It's like it had I, a, a decent budget to it. It was... I like Michael Moriarty. He's a fantastic actor. The lead lawyer. Mm -hmm. I like him as, like in general. No, no, he wasn't a lawyer. He was a distant just attorney. Sorry. Espionage guy. I'm talking about lawyer in law and order. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. All 28 seasons of it or whatever. No, I'm kidding. Wasn't he in like Pale Rider or something? Yeah, like he was in Pale Rider. He's a, fa I, he's a fantastic actor, so he immediately when I saw him, I was like, this movie's automatically going to be good. And I, I will say that there's nobody as dumb as he appears to me. Good script. Mm -hmm. I like chocolate chip trolley. Of course you do. Isn't it a Larry Cohen movie? Yeah, yeah. I believe when I looked up this week. That's what I saw. Um, I also like... So, what's it about? The stuff starts off at like some sort of a work site. That's the best beginning I've ever it seen. It looks like a Kaolin factory. Yeah, some kind of mine. And the this white goo is coming from the ground. And this guy, worker, comes up and he puts <laughs> his finger in it. He's like, hmm. Well, of all things I do, I'm, I'm just going to try this. What are you doing down there? This is really good. Are you eating snow? <laughs> this it ain't snow. But the stuff coming out of the ground is the titular stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's apparently highly addictive. Mm -hmm. Some kind of maybe alien organism. It's, Parasitic. Well, it's natural. It's all it's no natural artificial from the ground. <laughs> It's alive. Oh, there's alive stuff in yogurt. So it's kind of a, a, a invasion of the body snatchers type. They just slowly start assimilating the community mm -hmm. world because everyone loves the stuff. It's like that's become like what they ingest, like completely. Like their entire meals? Yeah, yeah the fridge is just nothing but stuff. And then one uh, the kid, one hero kid boy. sees it one night uh, moving on its own. Mm -hmm. So he uh, realizes that um, the stuff has gone bad, but of course everyone else is uh, <laughs> they brainwashed. Won't believe him yeah, because they're, they're brainwashed, yeah. basically. So and They try to make him eat it. They do. What's he do instead? Doesn't he run? He gets sent to his room. And told. And told that he can't come out of his room until he can learn to eat the stuff. So he steals a container and cleans it out, and then fills it full of shaving cream. And he goes downstairs. He's like, mm mm. <laughs> this, this is good stuff. I love it. Mm mm. 
Focus on Dan right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just tearing up mm-hmm. that shaving cream. This is good. I can't believe I didn't start eating it sooner. You're right. This is good stuff. And then he has to set it down. They, they take it away from him and then they taste it and notice that it's shaving cream. And he runs away from his family. Michael um, Moriarty's character comes through. I believe he intersects with them. He jumps in the back seat of the car. He's like, get in, I saw a move too. <laughs> jumps in the car. Oh, wait, how'd that go? <laughs> <laughs> no, he said, get in the car, I saw a move. <laughs> I like the first one better. <laughs> so the kid jumps in and they're, you know, weaving and bobbing all through the, the streets of the neighborhood. Yes. The kid gets sick because he just ate shaving cream. And he's like, I'm sorry, I, I had to eat, I ate shaving cream and I threw up in your back seat. He goes, that's all right. We all got to eat shaving cream once in a while. Your Michael Moriarty voice is wonderful. You like that? Um, so there's some chasing and shenanigans. And basically it's like three people against the world. Um, I think where they go, they meet up with some like ex-general man played by Paul Sorvino, who is yeah, also I a fantastic actor. liked him a lot. Who is also in Law and Order. Yeah. Well, the, they have to go to Stater, Georgia. <laughs> that's that's where I'm waiting like, for more Michael Moriarty coming. That's out of where here. the the headquarters of stuff factory. the stuff is, and it's like the FDA people that worked on it start disappearing. Nobody knows anything about it. You know, it's proprietary, so nobody knows the ingredients or anything. And um, they the only way that they can see that they can prove this is to steal a truck. And they steal a truck full of the stuff. And that's where they meet up with uh, the general. With the general, yep. the general has a what a, a some kind of pirate broadcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the resistance. I'm guessing mm-hmm. full strike force as command. Are you okay? You kind of sweat. I'm stuffing it up. <laughs> <laughs> so the stuff does the to stuff me. has you. <laughs> um, yeah, and they I guess embark in a, a do or die mission to mm-hmm. uh, to bring that to the world. Bring it to the world. It was at, uh, I think at the very end, near the end. There's a uh, like a radio station mm-hmm. studio mm-hmm. scene. And your buddy Charlie, Chocolate, Chocolate Chip, Chip Charlie. Charlie. Whoa, what do you think? I'm the Kentucky Colonel. <laughs> and a, a, a spoiler: he has one of the most horrific scenes I've ever seen in a movie. Mm-hmm. It haunts me. It is, it is good though. It is. I like it. It's sad. I, there's a lot going on in that scene. It's just Charlie and everything else is going on. But then the cables that they cut in half. That's a big bundle of cables that they shove on Chocolate Chip Car- Charlie and the uh, the stuff. Big effects. Yeah. But I did like the effects. Like when the stuff is moving along the walls and how it spins yeah. that stuff. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really well handled. Not what I would expect and like what I thought this movie was going to be. No, they had a budget. There was like a, a budget. Sure, Kevin. We try, uh, try some, some more stuff. stuff. Mm. Have it. This is good. It's good stuff. We Are you eating this the one? stuff, or is it eating you? <laughs> I think. <we're... laughs> Let's rate this pooping scale: one to five poops. Five is. You loved it. One is. Hated it. I love this stuff. I get? I will give the stuff four poops for the acting chops of Mike Moriarty and Paul Sorvino, and then I liked the plot. It was just mm-hmm. a good movie. Never, never got, never slowed down. It was just fun. There was no goofy romance going on. Well, there was a romance, but it wasn't it was like it was like a messed up, just kind of. <laughs> it was always on the go. There was no yeah. like, let's stop and make love now. No. No, I was asking you if you want to do that. Uh, well, not, well, as long as we can bring the stuff. It was in the heat of passion, like as they're yes, in romance on the run. Okay, sorry, four poops. I too will give it four poops because it was very good. It was enjoyable. I had some great lines in there, some cool effects. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it four and a half poops because this is one of those movies that I, I can go back and watch repeatedly. Like if you know, we're hanging out, As you should. Like looking for something to do. Hey, you want to watch stuff? Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. Want to watch some stuff? Let's watch some stuff. It's 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 just great. There was, it's got decent production value. It looks like something that was on TV, you know, is made on TV or for TV or something. But 
it's it's just there's a lot of decent effects and stuff. So four and a half is what I give it. Awesome. Near perfect bad movie. Whoa. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. So we'll probably put the trailer, a link to the trailer, down below, and maybe a link thing, and subscribe to us. And if you think of anything else, put that out. Enjoy some stuff. Yeah. Go watch the stuff. Go watch it. And have some stuff. You know why? Enough is never enough. When I was a little girl, I used to like candy.